Hey guys, it's Com B, and today's video we're going to be doing another Rec Room Studio tutorial. This time I will be teaching you how to use the camera in Rec Room Studio and how to be able to project images onto a plane or a cube or whatever you want to project them onto. So yeah, we're going to jump into Studio and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in an empty studio room. I'm going to add a few items. The first will be an empty object and we could just label this camera. And then right click on camera and add a camera. There we go. Okay, so obviously the camera right now is just facing this empty plane and that's what's being shown over here. What we'll want to do is go over to your room and right click and we're going to create two items. We're going to create a material and we're going to create a custom render texture. We're going to click on our camera and we're going to drag the render texture onto the output texture over here. And you want to unclick audio listener because that will just mess up the sound settings you have in your room and we don't really care what sound is coming out of this camera we just want to project the picture next up we're going to add another object and this time it will be a 3d object and we'll add a cube and let's just move this out slightly and make it much bigger There we go. Okay, so now we have this cube. Now, what material do, do we want on the cube? We're gonna use this material over here. We're gonna take our render texture, drag it into base map, and then take this material and drag it onto your cube. All right, obviously this, this is gray because the camera's going into the cube, so we'll just drag this over and you'll see that the camera is now pre being projected onto this cube. Now the last thing you're going to have to do is take your camera and we're going to have to create a prefab or else it won't let you upload this onto Studio. You'll want to add two components. One would be a box collider and the second would be a Rec Room Studio object. One last thing before we go test this out, I'm gonna go click on to my new material render texture and I, I could change the, si the size of this. So if I want it to have a more clear resolution, I could increase the size. So in this case, I'm going to create a 1920 by 1080 and we're gonna go test that out in our room and see what it looks like. Great, so here we are in our map and as you can see, I have the camera facing me as well as this cube. And yeah, it's real time. So if I raise my arm, you could see it on the cube and yeah, you could use this for like security cameras and stuff. There's a lot of uses. All right, so let me know what you guys use these cameras for. You could use them for mirrors. You could use them just as cameras. You could use them, you know, maybe to show a different part of a map that you teleport to. There's lots of uses. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.